past couple of years we raised the money and wrote tons of drafts of the script and eventually got it off the ground. It's, it's still kind of shocking that there's a, a movie called The Hobo with a Shotgun. You know the story following a hobo who's like a vigilante trying to save people. It's just full of everything that kind of I enjoy watching out of a movie. It's pretty much exactly what it says in the tin, just hell of a lot of gore. Oh, so much fun though. It was amazing. I wish there were a lot more films like it. Actually, this is the second time I've seen it. Uh, and it's even better the second time. This was, oh! Bye. <laughs> a lot of fun, a lot of blood, a lot of action, great music. It was awesome. I wrote down Rugger Hauer on the top of the list thinking there's no way in hell this is going to happen. But at least it'll give people an idea of the kind of actor I'm going for. And within a couple of days, they got the script to his agent, and his agent thought the script was ridiculous and crazy and said, Rugger, I don't think this is for you. And that really piqued like, Rugger's interest. And he saw the trailer, and he read the script, and he wanted to get on Skype with me. So I had my first Skype call ever with Rugger, and I pitched what I wanted to do with the character and why I thought he would be great, great for it. And he called the production like right after and said he was totally down to do it. I hate to tell you this, but if you grow up here, you're more likely to wind up selling your bodies on the streets or shooting dope from dirty needles. The moment where he's just about to walk out of the hospital and suddenly says, she asks him, you know, you can't solve everything with a shotgun. And he looks at her dead in the eyes and it's such a cliche moment, but it's still really funny. And he just says, it's the only way I know. I came down here as not the biggest fan of gore films, I'll be honest, but I was absolutely rooted to the spot. I was standing downstairs and I couldn't leave. It's still the best midnight movie I've ever seen. And it's uh, second time around, absolutely even better. People should come and see Hobo with a Shotgun because they're going to see things that they've never seen in a cinema before. A school bus full of children being torched with a flamethrower. You're not going to see that in Transformers 3 or Tree of Life. So get off your ass, get to the movie theater, well, I'm sending Rutger Howard to your home. <laughs> For anyone who may not yet be a fan of gore films, go and see this movie, it's brilliant.